Hello everyone, I'm Alicia Woodruff and welcome to The Fort Report. So were you one of those people making New Year's resolutions about exercising more and getting in shape? Yeah? Well, coming up February 24th is a great chance to see how you're doing. The Cowtown Marathon is celebrating its 35th anniversary this year and it expects to have more than 28,000 runners pounding the pavement in a myriad of races. We offer an ultra marathon, marathon, half marathon, 10K, an adults 5K, and then uh, the Cook Children's 5K. We have all 50 states represented this year and eight foreign countries. Everything kicks off with the Cowtown Health and Fitness Expo, February 22nd through the 24th. So everyone has a chance to check out the latest gadgets and aids from a variety of fitness vendors and learn more about ways to get and stay healthy. And by taking part in the marathon, you also help the CAF program, which stands for Children's Activities for Life and Fitness. And we go to the schools and we teach children how to take their resting heart rate. We teach them proper uh, stretching and cool downs, warm ups and running technique. And then for the children that otherwise wouldn't be able to afford to participate in our race, we help pay for their entry fee and we provide them New Balance running shoes. Even if you don't run, you can still participate in this great event. We are um, still looking for volunteers. We need course monitors and fluid station volunteers right now. And also we need volunteers for at our expo on Friday and Saturday to help hand out packets and t-shirts. For more information about the Cowtown Marathon, visit their website. And to volunteer for the event, you can email volunteer at cowtownmarathon.org. March is fast approaching, and that means the threat of severe weather season in North Texas. Do you know what to do in case of emergency? Fort Worth's emergency management team can help make sure you do. Back in 2000, we have had a tornado that came through downtown Fort Worth on uh, March 20th. The Know What to Do program is a public education campaign for North Central Texas, and it deals with the hazards that we face here uh, in our area, which includes severe weather uh, and man-made disasters uh, and the possibility of acts of terrorism. A little preparation can go a long way to help when you're forced to deal with any emergency situation. Visit the Know What To Do website to learn how to put together a communications plan, evacuations plans, and more. The Office of Emergency Management would strongly recommend that people sign up for our Nixle alert, uh, text alerts. And these are alerts that will go off at the same time that the warning sirens are going off outside residents will be able to receive a text message on either their mobile phones or their home or office email uh, stating what the emergency is. You can sign up at nixel.com or text your zip code to 888-777. If you have special needs, go to ftwahas.deaflink.com. To help get the word out, Emergency Management joined with Fort Worth ISD to promote the Know What To Do program through an art contest. The winning entries will be featured in a Know What To Do calendar. And that's going to start here in spring and, and last year we had 20 elementary schools here in Fort Worth uh, that participated in that. We hope to draw even more. Here's a look at other events happening in and around Fort Worth through the rest of February. For a list of more events and city meetings, you can always visit the calendar at the city's website. 